Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Blue Earth County Historical Society and I have a really fun craft today. Um, just to forewarn you, um, to actually do the entire craft you're looking at a 20 to 30 minute commitment here, but the end result is kind of fun. So I saw this on Pinterest and the fun thing about this is it twirls and completely rolls and it's I've been having so much fun with this. Um, a very easy thing just to sit and kind of play with while you're thinking. Um, but again, this craft takes a little bit of time uh, just to complete it. So know that going in. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how to make one color section here and you just repeat that for all of them. So for this craft here, you're gonna need five different color square sheets of paper. These, This is origami paper and you are folding a very tight um, formation here so this might be the best um, but square paper might be able to work too. You're just going to want really fine creases and you're going to want some school glue. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this really fun wheel that completely turns um, while you're playing with it. So let's get started. Okay, so we'll start with one square piece of paper here, and there's a lot of folds into this. Um, I will put a link to what I found and followed, so if my instructions here aren't making sense, maybe that one will. So grab your square, first square, we're gonna fold it in half. Nice tight crease there, you're gonna want that later. Um, and then we're gonna fold it in half again. Again, nice firm crease there. Um, one more time in half. And now you'll start to notice that that crease gets a little bit harder. So to make your last crease, um, you've got it that it open on one side, firm crease on the other. You're gonna fold down on each side from the opening of the crease to make your last crease. Get that nice and tight in there, um, keeping it straight. Okay, and then we are now gonna open this up completely. We've got all of our folds there on our piece of paper, nice and accordioned. We're then gonna fold it in half the other way. So we've got all the folds going this way. We're gonna fold it in half once this way, the other way. Go nice and tight. So we've got our fold on one side and the opening on the other. So from the opening, we're gonna fold down on both sides and make sure that that lines up very nicely with the bottom. We'll flip that over and do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that that's nice and tight there. And now we've got all these accordions in here with our folds so we're just going to fold this up here <clears throat> making sure that it stays tight along the way following your lines get to the end here now we have the hardest part of this craft so we've got this all together, it's one piece. Um, you'll notice though that you can pull a bit away. You're gonna do this on one side, kind of open it up a little bit. Um, if this isn't making sense, please refer to the link in the description um, and see if that helps you out at all. So pull that out and this gets a little tricky. Um, and this is why it takes so long here. Um, so we are gonna physically separate it and pull it out a ways. So we've got a V here shape for our one side. We're gonna repeat that exact same process on the other side here. So this is why we're folding down from the outside. It's making these creases so that we can do this here. Um, and again, it's a little finicky. Um, this paper is really thin. 
and you don't want to completely pull it all apart either here. So pull this side out here, making sure it's staying accordioned at the same time though. And we're going to pull and separate this out here from it as well. Um, so right now we've got three prongs here. Um, just as hard as what we were doing from the top here, the top part that's all still together, uh, we are, sorry to pull this off screen here, um, from this you're going to separate this. So you kind of pull it apart, at keeping it accordion, and open it up. So you've got this letter M. You're going to want to repeat this for the rest of your colors. So we've got our five M's then here. And now comes the easy part. Going to put some glue on our first one here. We're going to pick whatever color we want to go next to it and we're going to glue that on. Um, so you'll see here when gluing on, um, your M's needed to kind of be close to one another for how much they opened up. Um, so let that sit just a second before putting on a little bit more glue here on the next layer. sure there's enough glue on there. Choose your next color to have put on. Line up as best you can there. Um, we'll hold this, let it dry just a second before putting on our next layer. A little bit more glue there. So our next color, we'll notice that I didn't open up the yellow one quite as much so we're just going to open that up just a bit more so that it will stretch on there. Um, all right. The good thing about working with school glue is it doesn't dry absolutely immediately so if you need to open up one of yours just a little bit more you're able to. And we'll get the last one glued on there. Our final M. Oh, this one I didn't open up as much either. So I'll just open that up just a tiny bit more. <clears throat> okay, so then you're going to want to let this sit for just a couple moments so that they will all dry together. You'll notice you've got a nice little line here. Um, this next part gets a little bit tricky with trying to put things together. So choose one end, doesn't matter which one, um, and you're gonna wanna put some glue on that end. Get some glue on here. And then you are gonna take your other end, the one you didn't put glue on, and that's going to circle around and meet the other side. So this is why it's important to let the inside layers have a few moments to dry before doing this so that you're not overstretching them before they've had a chance to dry. So you're going to want to kind of hold those edges together there that are still drying, um, especially in the middle here where you're not able to push them down like you were before. We'll just give this a couple seconds to dry here. Um, so you'll start off with a nice circular here and that should just turn. Oh, I didn't give mine enough time to dry here. Um, on my blue and purple connection here, my last one. Um, but that 
will just turn out um, when it is fully dry. So let's hold that together for a few more seconds here um, just to make sure everything stays together. <clears throat> um, but there you go. Your M's there will turn into this lovely um, spinning wheel. I really have a problem with making sure that my stuff sticks together and dries well enough here. Um, but yes, once it dries, um, it will turn out very nicely, much like our sample one did. So um, you can use whatever colors you would like. Um, you can also use the same color if you would like all the way around. Um, it just gets a little bit more um, tricky when you are putting um, everything together to know which seam you glued together unless you are paying very close attention to your last seam that you glued together. Um, but yes, that is how you make your spinners and hopefully you have as much fun playing with them as I have. We'll see you next time.